Welcome folks, today we're gonna talk about Phoebe. So let's go back to the screen I was uh, powering up our skills. So let's go to, to the favorite equipment. Okay, she's clear. Now Phoebe is a time mage. Now time mage works in a bit of a weird way. They basically sacrifice their turns to uh, make other units act first. Sometimes they even act immediately because they restore completely the CT. Now she has the Dragoon sub-job and the White Maid sub-job. Now doesn't goes without saying, you should probably not use the Dragoon, probably. And her HP is abysmal, the uh, magic is kinda average, That that's not great. Those stats are really bad. Agility is great though, agility is good. She has a big buff to agility and um, that allows her to keep up with the game. Let's take a look see at the abilities. Now, can't say I've got everything, so I mean I, I do have everything. I didn't max out damage limit and magic up because she, realistically speaking, not gonna do anything damage related. So let's see what she can do. As a time mage she has access to immobilize and common. Now immobilize could be interesting, could be interesting. Um, but I would not recommend using that as a mainstay. She also has slow, she has uh, transposition which is uh, switch the own location with the target. She has raise as a white mage, she has um, full life as a white mage. There you go. She has quicken, bestows quicken on a lie. This is a great spell. Sadly uh, the game doesn't tell you what quicken does. But you can figure it out. Haste bestows haste on life for three turns. The game again doesn't explain what haste does, but sure. So stop, interesting. And then we have Kurada if you need to do some healing. Obviously I do not have the job points to do that so you won't see that. And then we have the, the Dragoon abilities which you can just skip. We have Meteor, but she's not gonna use it that much. Now as for enhancement, she got the speed cast enhancement and has a speed cast to high speed cast. Significantly reduce activation time and raises agility. Which is what we have right here. Now null city changes, it's um, something very useless because you're not gonna get slowed, you're gonna get stopped anytime soon. So you're left with much of the saint or HP up. Really. So, so nullifying doom is great, jumping is also great. You can pick whatever you want. Uh, then you got the quicken enhancement. Enhance quicken to quicken clock turn, which enhances the range. Then speed force, which is uh, a good ab ability. Raise agility of allies within range for 3 turns. Okay, we have dragon blade set here. I should probably set something else. It's, I mean, those things are just meh. Probably slow counter, but... She's probably gonna die in one turn. Now city changes, we're gonna change with what? What can we use? Probably HP up should be a good choice, but uh, jump one, this should help reaching to reach this should help her to reach some allies. So we can use the sub mage uh, um, the sub job time mage to get the hust going, which is not a bad thing. Now I if you if you need a raise you can use the white mage sub job by the way. So for the espers, obviously you need something like either uh, Bahamut, which we can awaken by the way. Batch Nance, Max, okay cool. You can get Bahamut or you can get anything else really. Let's go to the esper training board. Alright, uh, what can we get? There isn't much. What you should be taking is something that boosts your agility so she can act first. TP up is also a good thing because we're gonna cast a lot of spells. And then anything else you can put into evocation magic which I'm not gonna do for reasons. But it is what it is. Um, let's go to the uh, formation and to the far plane so we can check what she can do. We need to slot her in because my light team doesn't have 
her inside. Okay, um, this one. Let's go and do this one. And let's go to my light team. So, we should probably change. Uh, yeah, let's change. Let's switch Mariale out. Do I want to switch Mariale out though? Nah, I think I'm gonna switch you out, bro. So we're gonna put uh, Phoebe. Actually, I don't wanna screw with my formation. Let's me let me copy formation. Copy. Let's go to somewhere else, like this one. Paste. Yeah, sure. Yeah, paste information. What did you do with that? I don't know what you did. We're gonna remove you. We're gonna put Phoebe in here. All right. Phoebe is gonna use a staff. Fantastic. Any staff will do. She needs agility, so we're gonna give her a nice boost to agility. Anything else here is fine. You can put whatever you want in here. Just as as long as it doesn't remove agility, everything is fine. Her only her only um, job is to... Oh, this one is nice. Do we get anything? One agility point? I don't think it's gonna make a difference, but... So, the resonance. There you go. Put this thing here. Chocobo is fine. Agility up. That's a nice vision card to have. Chocobo is fine. Remember, it, you have to boost your teammates. So having a boost to agility... It's gonna be a great, great boon to your team. As a subvision card, we can find something, I guess. Remember, she's gonna be a support, so she needs to um, boost your companion's abilities. So if we can find something else to uh, boost, that would be great. You need attack resistance up. That looks interesting. Let's just do that. Let's go and see what she can do. She can do. Okay. Um, I think she's. She's. I seen her in some questionable PvP, but uh, there are many, many time mages in this game. She's very. Uh, the avail availability for her is very high. You can. Uh, You can get her to 120 easily, now the question should be, do I want to get her to 120 easily? She doesn't need the bells, by the way. You shouldn't give bells to, to her. Alright, that's quite alright. Now, she's gonna do a concentration vitality. And would you look at that, now she, it's her turn. Now, what she has to do is to basically do a quick... I mean, speed force is interesting. So we should do that. The worm is gonna move. Agility up. Nice. Alright. Keep moving. Just move Mariale next to... Level 4 Banishka. I think you should be doing something else. You should be doing city average. Or maybe a spirit barrier. Let's just, let's just do banish gap, sure. Okay, so what we're gonna do now... Watch this. I'm gonna do a quicken... ...on Mariale. I'm gonna move Lucio over there. He's gonna do Luminous Grace? Holy crap -aroni. That's a lot of damage, bro. And you're done. I tried to showcase a unit, thank you very much. Okay, let's just send her over there. I'm sure she can take care of these enemies. Let's go, partner. Okay, one over there, one over there. She's gonna quicken, okay. and now it's Mariale's turn. She got her city regen, so 
this is what Phoebe does. So if you have like one strong unit, the strongest unit in the game you can possibly imagine, and you couple Phoebe or any type mage with Quicken, you're effectively doubling that unit and you're, you're basically substituting the DPS from uh, your Phoebe with the DPS of that unit. Now it's gonna take a while so you might want to uh, focus on uh, reducing the... Now for instance, I just move with Mariale, I can now switch to... Uh, To SRL. Man, today I cannot speak names today. Luminescent Arc, go for it. Alright. Well, I mean, it's pointless since we basically. I'm not. I'm. It's. The, it's. I'm, I do not use time mages usually. But it is what it is. We need to be doing is Blade of Inertia, sure. And that's what she does. That's everything she does. Now, if you're playing PvP, she might take the role of a lead of a healer with um, with full life and and the raise. She can be a good force on the battlefield. Now she can also stop. Okay, so I can cast stop here zero percent, of course, because the game doesn't like it, but. You know, there's nothing we can do here. I suppose we can just quicken again. You know, I see that. Now he's gonna move. Yeah, do something light, sure, whatever. Now it's your turn. You do that. Quicken, LCRL moves again, no chance for Cyrel to do anything because LCRL is on her case. There you go. Oh, of course, she didn't kill. But, but, but... Mind Crusher is fine, do it. And this is basically the gameplay with, um, with Phoebe. That's everything she does. Can she deal damage? Mm, I wouldn't bet on it, to be honest. Stop doesn't work. Immobilize, cool work, 36%. Then we have haste and we have slow. Considering e the enemy is dead, I don't know. It's just dead. Just die. So. This could be an interesting combo if you want to maybe uh, get that chain going. You can get like Phoebe, give maybe okay. A serial goes in, drain rush. That's a two chain combo. You do uh, quicken on a serial. It becomes a five chain combo immediately, and then you can go with some hard eating guys and do some nice shenanigans or vice versa. So it allows for some nice plays to boost that combo, uh, that chain meter. Uh, the slow stop and immobilize, they depend on the enemy uh, resistances. But other than that... Now, let's come to the hard part. The hard part is deciding whether or not you want to invest the blossoms. And I am gonna say, in a controversial way, you could take her to 99, but I wouldn't be using the Blossoms. The reason being, she's a light element. There are many powerful light element units in the game. So, I don't know. I don't know. Having a Time Mage support you is not a bad idea, but really, do you want to invest 6 Blossoms? I don't know. It's, it's a weird choice, because she's very powerful, she's very useful uh, with that Quicken. Absolutely. But think about this, should you lose hate, she's gonna go down. If you call her stats, she's weak 5% to everything. So, 
She's also uh, weak to silence. She swore to take to 99 because of the Trustmaster. That gives you 5 agility, 11 defense and light attack resistance up 10. This Trustmaster is top tier. Because it gives you agility, it gives you attack resistance against light and it gives you defense. A, a huge chunk of defense actually. HP is not much. And you can use an accessory on uh, your character. So, yeah, this is a tough one. Is she worth to getting her to 120? That kind of depends on what light units you have. Or what other units outside of light, the light elements you have. Because she takes Blossom of Paradise, so... You might want to be leveling up other units. And she's gonna take up the Blossom of Paradise, so... But to level 99, she's definitely worth taking. So that's my take on it. You make of it whatever you want. I'm not gonna... I have a neutral stance on this character. I have a neutral stance. So it's up to you. You've seen... The, the, basically, decide whether you want to quicken some units or not. That's the whole point of Phoebe. To quicken. But you absolutely need to get her to level 99 to get the Trustmaster award. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.